For many people who may not know, what exactly is the gut brain access and why does it matter for our overall health and mood? This is a very, very important question. I would say the most important question we're, we're addressing or you are asking. Um, the gut brain axis, we have found that the gut and the brain communicate with each other. So we know that the brain, our brain is the CEO, right? It talks to all organ systems. It gives orders to everybody. But the one organ that it communicates very, very effectively and where the communication is perfectly bilaterally quite on sound footing, I would say it's like a married couple. If heart, uh, the, the brain and the gut are like spouses to each other and they talk to each other. So here, the, and, and they are both equally able to, to work without the help of other. So gut if you gut has its own brain now, as we understand, it has hmm. more nerves than the spinal cord. Wow. So, and it is secreting more hormones and chemicals than the brain secretes. Sometimes in terms of serotonin, the happy hormone, gut secretes 95% hmm. of it and brain only 5% of it. So you can tell and, it, and all these things about your gut feeling or or you are saying that I have a gut-wrenching experience or something tells me things are off. Why is that? Because your gut knows something is wrong even before your brain has processed that information if you wow. hear something bad news. So gut and brain communicate, but the, what we have found is that gut microbiome, the bacteria, the trillions of bacteria that are sitting, they are the ones creating this network of communication. 